All right. Hello, friends, and welcome. My name is Mario Becchi. I am a psychologist who works with professional and amateur golfers, and I am helping them to achieve better results via mental game t uh, tactics, tricks and tips, and all what I learned with working with my clients and applied in the game for myself and for the others. So this is the online coaching session, which I am presenting weekly and uh, i'm showing ordinary golfers by a simulation how to adjust their thinking directly into the game this is just a free session and uh, it's very open we are discussing uh, various techniques tips that could be applied directly in the game i'm using as a simulation a computer game called pga tour uh, 2k21 i believe and it's a wonderful simulation where you can uh, adjust the environment, the weather, the courses, the types of the player, the uh, types of the uh, clubs. And we are just simulating situations that could be applicable for you in the real game. So I want to first of all thank you, my beautiful sister who is sponsor of this video. And uh, thanks to her, we are watching this live and you can learn from it as much as possible. You don't have to pay for anything, but if you would like to pay something and support me and my channel and the activities I am making with people and not only supporting but also profiting from for yourself you should discover this beautiful pocket guide which i created which i created for you golfers it's called pocket golf psychology and the cover looks like this it's a golf ball on a on green grass pocket golf psychology as you see my name is here Mario Becky and look for it on Amazon in your uh, in your bookstore or go directly to my website which is called mariobecky.com where you can also find free online lessons for mental game of golf this is my speciality and I crafted this with uh, a lot of attention from a lot of results that I gained previously for my uh, clients from clinical psychology as well as from golf uh, area and uh, you can not only find their free lessons but also uh, ultimate and professional levels of my mental game training program but today we are going to use some of these lessons that are for some people paid and uh, we can we will uh, apply it into uh, or try to apply it into real game this is the weekend of uh, the open in uh, united kingdom in st andrews in scotland to be uh, to be precise and uh, we will simulate 
a preparation for a golf match, golf round, whether you will pay it as, as for free, as, as a free round, or whether you will pay it as a competitive round, I will tell you as much as possible in, in a basic level of sense uh, information that you should use or you, you could use for playing better round as possible on this very simply simple but quite challenging golf course which is quite plain but you have such environment that could change the outcome of uh, your your predictions of this game because at first the san andrews seems like a very friendly golf course and it is when you meet perfect conditions weather conditions especially but usually you can you can be surprised by some activities so we are going to use a simulation based on pc game called pga tour 2k21 and you are invited to join me we are going to start because i'm speaking already five minutes and i didn't tell anything that could help you play go better golf uh, if you are new to the game welcome if you watch my previous series, welcome as well. You know already what this is going to be about. Uh, this is not a scripted uh, gameplay. This will be me thrown into the golf course and try to adapt to the changes. Uh, the weather is set to random, so we will see whether, uh, whether the weather will influence our game. I believe it will because Sand Universe is really challenging based on the weather conditions uh, especially so we are going to start a game and before every game before not only on the on, on the san andreas and every match you must take in consideration whether this is a friendly round or whether uh, this will be a uh, competition round the more the, or the higher tier of competition you are going to play in in any round of golf on, on any golf course the thorough preparation should be for yourself not only practically as a physical uh, preparation with your golf pro with your physical therapist with your uh, I don't know whoever whoever you are working with but on the same level as a mental preparation if you want to learn more about mental preparation in detail uh, be sure to check my online training which is to be found on uh, mariobeki.com or to get this really really smart and very unique pocket guide which is called pocket golf psychology and uh, learn about precise timing and techniques used in order to be prepared as much as bad as good as as possible for any round of golf not only at the san andrews as we saw there are a few golfers who already dropped from the uk open championship and we we can find their phil mickelson tiger woods and i believe also in colin morikawa who was previous champion of the open so this is a quite challenging golf course if you play par on this golf course you should be really happy and these players are top players in the world or some of them were uh, I, I i believe that T tiger will have some really tough time and uh, maybe he will he will retire soon be based on his results i i i know that it might be difficult for him but this is not to be discussed today uh so this golf course already made surprises for uh, any players on the tour and they played really good 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 uh, results uh, tiger i believe shot 73 and 78 which is not a bad result on a uh, golf course like uh, or golf links or like san andrews and uh, the other players who, who are top players shot even better rounds and they were on the level of par and they didn't make the cut for the second day today is the second day of the open championship uh in the st andrews and 
you should be ready if you if you just play for fun or you you plan to be a championship some uh, champion uh, someday uh, you should be prepared in order to face this uh, really changing golf course and so the first thing you should do before going into the round make a relaxation at home in this pocket guide as well as in uh, i'm sorry for the microphone as well as in my online training you will find relaxation techniques that should be applicable at your home you will find not meditation not uh, some uh, terrestrial extraterrestrial uh, experiences this is a clinical psychology relaxation techniques which are used in a clinical psychology praxis uh, so this is called pocket golf psychology go to the amazon go to any bookstore nearby you ask for this pocket guide it should be available at least in uk in a majority of the bookstores if not then go to mariobecky.com and order it from there and you will find their thorough preparation how you should relax then be even before relaxation you should have straight what you want to achieve either on the day of you are playing or either in the near or far future this pocket guide pocket golf psychology from me mario becky offers these options how you can set it set your goals in the day into the far future or into the near future so this is wonderful pocket guide for those i'm not going to discuss it because it is another subject for a another live video which we'll probably make in the future so make sure also to subscribe to this channel if you are watching this on youtube make sure to follow uh, top sports psychology on facebook which where this will will be also available or this is uh I'm not sure about the settings right now uh, for the live streaming, but if not available in online right now live, then it, it will be available as a preview in the future. So make sure to follow Top Sport Psychology on the Facebook as well. So let's start. This is a preparation. You should have straight straightened up your goals for before the round of golf for today and for future you should relax at home we have also relaxation techniques that can be found in this pocket golf psychology a small pocket guide that you could use there directly on a parking lot where you will arrive on the golf course or in the hotel if you if you will stay in the hotel there are also relaxation techniques where i will refer to to which i will refer to in this pocket guide that could be and are applicable directly in the game when you're when you will put yourself in a difficult situation and i do not wish it to you but it usually happens and you should be prepared for, prepare for that that you will face some difficulties and don't be surprised don't be scared don't be mad don't be angry these difficulties will come up in the game and this is just like life those situations are unexpected and when you expect something to happen you will be probably better prepared so uh, uh, use it as you wish so you we have preparation our goals our relaxation before the round uh, we we know how to relax directly into the into the into game so, and we can now go to the go to golf course you are going to the pro shop you're going to set up either before a competition or before a free round and we are going to now switch to a uh, this pc game which is simulation and we are going to start the round depending on your personal experience you know for yourself whether you will eat a little or a lot or nothing before the round of golf this is how you should prepare yourself uh, before a round of golf 
you should know whether it is good for you to eat, whether it is good for you to go to the bathroom, whether you will uh, use the loo or on the golf course if they have it. I, I'm not sure whether San Andreas have the external uh, toilets. So these are very basic physical uh, steps that you should prepare yourself for before a round of golf, especially on the golf course. Then make sure to check the weather ask in the pro shop how the weather is going to be from which side will the wind gust because this is a shore a golf course also known as a as a link golf course where we are when you are where you are playing on on the shore and uh, there will be usually a gusty weather a um, strong or maybe maybe slow wind if you have no win at St. Andrews, it is a wonderful golf course to play. It's not the smallest. You should expect that it will be not, not the easiest round as well in the perfect weather also, but it's playable. Check the weather. And based on that, prepare yourself mentally. This means, what should I uh, repeat before a round of golf do you make practicing shots do you go to the golf round um, bare naked be of, of your of any any practicing swing of any practicing thoughts you know what suits you this is pretty complex situation and we have uh, a uh, preparation list before any round of golf where you can check this 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 uh, so you don't forget in the round of golf and you don't waste your time your money your 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 uh, talent on playing a round of ball which will get, just make you angry because you were not prepared this is a golf course that on which you definitely should be should prepare yourself it's not the easiest one but it's it's playable many players prove that uh, it's a playable golf course it might be really windy it might be not but expect that it will probably be really gusty out there. Uh, as I said, our round of golf today is uh, set to random and I'm going to start the game. I have preparation, I relaxed, I ate, I was on loo, I, was, uh, I ate, I made some practicing swings, if you are not a practicing guy before the round, don't do it. If it helps you to play a better score, don't do it. Just go for the game. So we are going to start the game as if you would stand, step up on the first tee. Uh, we are going to play a local match. Uh, this game doesn't have uh, original old course design. So we are going to use a design from DGC member. And it says the difficulty is easiest, and I play these these uh, links online one time, and it wasn't easiest. It has seven thousand three hundred and seventy-two yards. It doesn't matter. So uh, green speed is medium. If on the pro shop have the info, check for that. So you know how to putt. For these are the best the practical grounds or the practice grounds before playing a match to try whether or how the putting speed ball speed while putting will be to your game you won't be surprised on the golf course when you will but the same by the same strength and you are, as you are putting and you won't be surprised by the speed of the ball on the green this is what is uh, was practicing for. We are playing in the morning. It's overcast. Crowds are on. Wind spin is default. Wind direction default. So let's let's play a round golf of golf on the San Andreas. As you see, here's my player, Mario Becky, and what is great about pocket golf psychology pocket guide 
it means that it is not prohibited. You can take it into the championship round and use it. It is so designed that you can read it really quickly, instructions that will help, help you directly in the game, not only pre as preparation for a long term, but directly in the game. This is the uniqueness of my pocket guide, Pocket Golf Psychology, like no other pocket guide or book for golfers or no other online training or any other training will prepare you for a direct game direct game direct round of golf as this pocket golf pocket golf psychology look for it in bookstore or uh, uh, online shops on amazon and get it it's really it's really cheap it's it costs 15 euros if you have uh, 20 euros for a round of golf you have 15 euros for the improvement of your life and then you can check my uh, free online seven day uh, access to my online academy for mental game of golf if you are serious about golf if you are really really serious then check my ultimate mental game online training that is also available on my website mariobecky.com but let's start the round we have preparation we ate we went uh, to the toilet we are ready to attack this golf course and not attack just to play it humbly and uh, not to make too many mistakes. Back. Begin a round. Let me just check the online settings. Everything should work fine right now. So we are on the first tee. Ah, it's it's pretty gusty. Seventeen miles towards me. What I didn't said, and I am saying this either in this pocket guide or in my online course on in or in other online live coaching videos like this one is how you should prepare for what is around you those crowds all this preparation you will find in my mental game training it's very simple but it's difficult to master in real life i am calling this exercise as a mind shell you should create a mind shell which where you will right erase in your mind all that crowds all that pressure that actually didn't uh, that it isn't existing that pressure from people no one is pressuring you they just came to watch your game what pressure where pressure creates is in your mind and uh, you only have to master it if you know if you don't if you want to know how then check my pocket guide check my online course but let's start around your mind is clear, you are prepared, you don't have to worry, this is going to be a great round. Our goal, and I'm repeating this over and over, your goal as a golfer, my goal as a golfer, everyone's goal as a golfer is to play a round of golf and aim for the par. Par is the ultimate score. If you are going to play better, wonderful, congratulations. But don't be sad if you play par. Par is a great score. Par is a score that you should strive to achieve. If you are going to play well, you can surpass it and play below par. If not, then you should work on your mental game and physical aim with your uh, golf pro. So let's start the round. My mind is clear, I practiced, I am calm, my hands are not sweating, my heart is not beating, I am ready to enjoy this game, enjoy this day. But don't think 
too much, too long, because there will be pressure from uh, one person, which is or who is the marshal or the marshals on the golf course or the representatives on the golf course. They will push you because there there are so many golfers who want to play, especially on this golf course, that are going to be nervous and mumble uh, around you that you should start that you should not think the less you think the less time you spend going to the ball and standing over the ball the better you will probably going to play so let's start you are prepared aim right play your best drive that you practice with your golf pro which is essential if you are not practicing with your golf pro go out from the video you must practice with your golf pro golf pro is not only keeping an eye on you he's repairing your swing he's repairing your movement in order to achieve the greatness that you could achieve as a golfer you have no idea how how big potential in yourself is but you are wasting your time and money on the golf course and your talent if you are talented if you are not practicing with your golf pro practicing with golf professional teaching golf professional is a must and then another must is practicing the mental game but it's very simple just take this pocket guide and you are clear to go so I'm not going to waste my time anymore. I'm going to play a uh, first shot on the first hole on the San Andreas. My mind is clear. Let's start. Now let's move on. Wonderful shot. Yardages doesn't matter in this in this live coaching session because this is what you should work on with your uh, golf pro. There's a wonderful wonderful page in this pocket guide, pocket golf psychology, which is on page 33 where you can quickly check your yardages that you signed in yourself before playing around so you know so you don't have to remember in your head you know exactly what the RDGs you are usually playing so I know according to this game that by 15 miles per hour I should probably play a little further forward to the or further back to the green because the wind will break my bring my golf ball back to the hole no pressure there are no crowds you are free your mind is empty your mind is clear you are playing well just use what you learn in practicing And always aim at the bar. Really simple. Bar is great. Could have been birdie, but it's already done. What's played, forget it. What's played is already, already behind us. What if, what we are going to play is what we can influence. My mind is clear. Let's move on. Currently, I'm on par. I did it into bunker. Wonderful achievement. I will probably go further back to the green and choose not seven, but not eight, but seven iron.
and this is what I try to say uh, tell you in the beginning be ready that the gustiness of the wind it's not so precise and as in this game that it will flow from one side the gustiness at St. Andrews especially can challenge you in such ways that it will change the direction right in the middle of the fl uh, flight of the ball so if you are if you are set to a uh, headwind it be, it can change to whether to e east or south or, uh, or north or west it can change be prepared for that don't be surprised don't be angry just let your emotions at home you are now free and you want to play the best round of your life Yes, even this can happen. But that's golf. This is why we love golf. It can surprise us when uh, we can... We can practice on our balance or our inner balance. Another hole, another opportunity. Your mind is free. You are clear from any thoughts from previous rounds, from previous holes, from previous shots, from previous previous pots, you are free and place play the best as you can. Now this is a challenging look at that bunker. We are I'm not sure about that. Now that that was unexpected. Just make yourself really calm. Don't think about anything else than a a shot that you should make. Concentrate on your shot. And execute. It's going to be tough, but why should be angry? We are going to play golf uh, so we can relax. As you see, double bogey, plus three after three holes, which is not a perfect score, but this is what happens in real golf. Another hole, another opportunity to make a mistake. This is golf. I should have practiced better and not speak as much as I am doing right now but I'm speaking just because of you in real game I'm really calm and so should you for some people like the golfers like the old uh, Travino Mexican guy he used to uh, relax himself by speaking a lot this is what some people use. If they are nervous, nervous they, uh, they speak a lot. But uh, many golfers need to a, a calm environment. They don't need to speak about this and that. It's, it's a distraction. The more thoughts you put in your head, the more distracted you are from uh, achieving the best possible result. I really should practice with my guy on the putting in this game. Plus four after four rounds. That 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 really adds some chili into the sauce, isn't it? 
as you see this is par 5 quite lengthy it would be great to achieve par on this hole And we are just in simulation. It's not even a real round. Just imagine how difficult it is for uh, the players, despite their uh, experience or their success like Tiger. I know that this is after too many surgeries, but... It is difficult. We played par, fantastic. Let's uh, hope some for some bo uh, birdies uh, on the way to another hole. We are on the hole six, which is relatively simple, but there are some traps that can catch our ball. Let's play as straight shot as possible. did and it is wonderful leave all the distractions at home you don't need them what you need is a clear mind ah that was almost in Let's see if it will go straight. Wonderful. Is it bar? Yes. So we didn't make a bogey, which is wonderful. This is perfect simulation. So we have driver and we have some dangerous parts here. And if there's a wind that is going to from left to right, the, it could carry our ball into some of those bunkers and we really don't want to do that let's see speed up the game oh he didn't wonderful as you see this is this is a two hole green and we are going to for the another hole I'm not sure if in real game those greens are that fast but somehow the setup for these greens seems to be really difficult just because of the speed of the of the grass maybe almost unfair but uh, simulations are for playing unfair so we are prepared in a real game another bogey plus five but we are on the seven and there are some really good holes expecting for us. Let's play a little shorter. And hopefully the ball will stay on the green. And we can put it from here. Double nut. This is going to be a bogey. Or not? Ah, oh, that was close. That was close. It's a double, I believe. No, it's a bogey. Move on. What is, is behind us. What, what was, is behind us. What is, is now. And we should concentrate on this shot. What kind of hole is that? I mean, is it, no, we are going to we are going to go for driver. Why not to play driver when you are on the on the at the San Andreas?
Let's go for the green. Wonderful, that was wonderful shot. Hopefully, on this par 4, we can make a birdie. Come on. Oh, that was unlucky. Expect the unlucky in your game. Is it par? Yes. Another hole, another opportunity. Always aim for the par. The bogeys will very possibly come around. And don't speak as, as, as much as I do in this training. Because every thought that you are thinking will be on expense of your shots. Another hole, another opportunity. We have headwind, we had wind from left to right, very strong. It will carry our ball to the right. And ah, the, it seems to me that this green is, is unlucky, but those are the, the perfect examples of a uh, real game. Because in real game, you will probably have the no not by three or that is at least some stuff a mistake uh, in the Design of the course, but I believe we, we could make it with pitch shot and lobo wedge. These are those are the situations that you should practice probably most of all on the uh, in your practicing because you want to play straight as possible, but this is what not going to happen all the time. You should, be, you should prepare. Be, you should be prepared for situations like playing uh, uh, towards a steep hill uh, from a really uh, deep bunker, and uh, this is why putting is the most important part of the game. After the mental game, another hole. Another opportunity. Maybe we could go for the green. Let's see. Hopefully it won't end up in the bunker. And it went to the green. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And it surpassed the green. And it's fortunately. What kind of mistake I did on purpose here? I didn't take enough rehearsal. I just played it straight. I wanted to skip the stress I am experiencing from my previous holes. Never push yourself, push your, never, never, never uh, push yourself too hard. Even if Marshall is uh, giving you a warning that you should speed up your game let yourself calm and rehearse enough so you can play the best shot possible in actual situation i did this mistake on purpose let's try it out let's assess the situation again 
and play better. I gained a stroke that I shouldn't get, but for a matter of education, I did it. And we have a par, which is a wonderful result. It could have been birdie, but you would be uh, without uh, important note for your game. Always take time for rehearsing a shot. I believe at uh, 13 hole, which seems quite simple, if the wind is behind your back and is pushing your ball, it is possible that this slope, and there is a slope here, this is part of course management, and you should exp you should watch the yardage book that is described prescribed for this golf course. If you are playing in a tournament, you will probably receive this yardage book for free. If not, you should buy yourself yardage book. And along that, you should also use the yardage book that I created. It is called Professional Yardage Book. This is a Spanish version called Libro de Distancias de Golf. I have it in seven different languages. So if you are probably not a native speaker, in English, uh, you can check uh, another language versions that uh, will be available uh, in bookstores soon in UK and that are uh, available now on Amazon and as well as on my website mariopiki.com and along the official yardage book of the golf course you are going to play, you can use fully customizable yardage book for yourself and put important notes not based uh, also only based on the fairway but also for the green uh, you can uh, put your notes for course management um, uh, what kind of uh, clubs did you use uh, your uh, special notices your mental game uh, notice all kinds of uh, uh, supportive information then you have you can put your statistics on how you played this hole you you can use it up to four rounds and on the in the back of this yardage book and i will uh, make a separate vi separate video uh, uh, for in this mental game live uh, coaching uh, session for mental game of golf where I will explain all the parts of my professional yardage book. So use the yardage book on the golf, of the golf course you are playing. And now we are playing on the St. Andrews or the, or the simulation. And use this professional yardage book to fill it up. We are going to do it together in some of the uh, future lessons. Or if you are impatient, go directly into the to the website mariopeggy.com and check uh, my shop where uh, you will find all the screenshots, all the uh, information about this professional yardage book. Get it with Pocket Golf Psychology, professional yardage book, and you have the base level for improvement in your game. Not buying new clubs. If you need, buy new clubs. But if you don't, don't buy new clubs. That won't, they, they probably won't bring you a better game. But make sure to mm, build on your uh, mental game this is a wonderful example i already played this course sev several times i read about this golf course in uh, officially at this book i don't have it with me right now somewhere in my studio but somewhere in the, in my office yes i do have officially at the book at this book of uh, st andrews i know that on the on the 13th hole you have this slope uh, leaning forward and you have these areas with bunkers and uh, i don't know wh whether there are shrubs or or uh, it's it's high grass it's very difficult and dangerous place where you don't want to place your ball so therefore i stopped and i told you that i will probably not going to use the driver but i will use uh, free wood and the uh, wind should 
help me to carry the ball over this rough area into this really huge I don't know maybe it's 70 yards 80 yards wide area uh, so wind should carry your ball into this area and from that you should attack the uh, hole which is here this is the course management don't play don't play just uh, with your imagination play for sure our golf shots are not perfect we will probably not going to play a perfect round just because we we don't have perfect physique we don't have perfect practicing we don't have perfect swings <clears throat> So it is less possible for you to play a perfect sh perfect round, perfect score, perfect shot. Make sure to lower the dangerous that uh, could or that are or around you on the golf course or inside of you. So if you lower the dangerous or the, the, the dangerous parts of the game, you will increase your possibility to play a relatively well score or a good score. So I chose the three wood, the wind didn't change as much, and that was a terrible shot, and I ended where I didn't want to end, just because I speak in too much. I should quiet say myself my uh, quiet myself. I should quiet myself down, uh, before a shot, because this is going to be double or triple bogey hole. If I'm lucky to get out of this rough. Fortunately, I ended up on the fairway. And from then. Oh, that, that was that was wonderful shot. And uh, this would be probably only a bogey. Could have been birdie. No, it's a bar. Wonderful. This is what, what we'll uh, usually... What you will usually experience. First round will won't be the best round, probably. If you will practice enough, if I would have practiced enough before coming into this round, I would probably not going to play as bad as I played on the first holes. Uh, you see that I shot 42, it, I was plus 6 on the first 9. And I'm currently over par, over par 4, number hole, hole number 13. <coughs> I played only plus one stroke hopefully it will be better now that is a uh, really dreadful hole number 17 where we will probably not going to play well but that that is that is far away as you see literally far away from this hole so concentrate on this shot Play as best as you can. And you will increase your chances. Your mind is clear. And it's going to... It stayed on the green. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hopefully it will be a par. Wonderful. Birdie. That is even more amazing. As you see, first B, birdie of the, of the round. And... It's better than it com when it comes later as never before. 
or as, as ever. Consider yourself the wind could possibly carry our ball. Think about the course management. What you should be at this point of the on the 15th hole not aware of these crowds. If you are thinking about the crowds, if you are thinking about your co-players, your buddies, golf buddies who are playing along with you, if you are caring about the people who are watching this on live streaming, a billion people if you are playing in the, in the, the Open Championship, then you should probably take a break and practice the mental game. At this point, on the 15th hole, not only on the 15th hole, on the first hole especially, but at least on the 15th hole if you are a hack player, you shouldn't feel the pressure which is rising in your head only. You are not aware of the crowds. What you are concentrated at is only the shot you are going to play this is the mental game it is not the motivation that you are going to be champion and so on mental game is subtle mental game is in details is in steps if you are going from one step to another if you are not distracting yourself if you can relax if you have no worries on the golf course I was distracted because I'm speaking a lot about this and that. I am pushing myself uh, really further without any rehearsal of the shot. Have you seen me rehearsed any shot? That is another mistake that I'm on purpose making. This is what you are going to end up with if you are lucky enough with this score on this golf course, especially on the San Andy Rings. Rehearse know how to relax know how to know how to learn how to not not uh, see the crowds around you not to think about the crowds around you not to think about your coach your girl girlfriend not your kids not your fans not your followers on social sites for this, the pocket golf psychology is one of a kind pocket guide. This is what will teach you. And if you want to more, go not only Amazon, go to mariobeki.com and check the online mental game training. So at this point on the 15th hole, you should be not thinking about anything else but your swing. This is Pretty simple hole. You don't see any trees here. <coughs> it is an open field and yet it is difficult because you have the challenging rough on the left side, challenging rough on the right side, you have the gusty wind, you have your score, previous score of plus six, you have the bunkers if the wind will carry your ball into those bunkers there will be another challenge because it is a quite long hole away from the the closest bunker i believe it could be 40 50 yards from there and if you are if you know how to play from the bunker 50 yard shot so close to the hole so that it not surpass the hole and not end up in the bunker behind the ball then you are a good player but good player knows to use a course management this will probably be another part of the series about mental game coaching because course management is literally a mental game subject if someone else is telling you about course management and is not psychologist he will probably not have an idea what course management is. It will be just like blah, blah, blah. Course management is mental game. And mental game is preparedness of your mind. 
in combination with physical aspects that will teach your teaching of professional so at this matter i am speaking too much so it is very possible that i will play a terrible shot but i will try to calm my, calm myself down to stay a little bit quiet before a shot in order to play as best shot as possible so let's try it i have rough hazard on the right side i have hazard on the left side hazard before me and hazard behind me if i will be lucky enough or if i will be skilled enough to play it as close as possible on the level ground before any of these bunkers then i have increased chance to play a birdie on this hole or the par as i said that we are aiming for so let's calm, calm myself down and play as best shot as possible which I didn't but let's work it out out of it the computer suggested that I should take 8 iron and play a pitch shot because they don't have the option for sand shot like it is possible in real life or in another game uh, which was some time ago PGA Tour Tiger Woods from EA Sports but Let's see what this unusual situation will bring us. Let's hope that this pitch out with will bring us from, from this bunker. At this moment, you should be aware in your real, real game, if you would uh, position yourself in such situation, uh, what kind of uh, shot you should play uh, with what kind of uh, golf club. So let's hope that this suggestion from computer will be good enough to end up on the green but we are far away from the hole 141 feet no we don't want that Stop, stop, stop. Wonderful. A par. Wonderful. Practice your putting. There are several coaches in, uh, in the world for putting that are incredible. And possibly I will link them into the description of this video so you can check them out they have wonderful uh, putting uh, exercises for you to to improve your putting and if you think that you putt pretty well but something is blocking in your head make sure to jump into the ultimate level of mental game of golf online course at mariobeki.com which is my, my website and i am soon publishing a putting exercises that are specifically targeted to controlling your inner balance your mental game in order to achieve best possible results because as in physical game of uh, big swings as it is also in uh, putting that uh, one part is your physical preparation physical putting stroke and the other part which is equal is the mental game the inner balance how you adjust the speed of your of your uh, putter and you adjust so you adjust to according to uh, actual situation in order to achieve uh, as best possible uh, results as you can get so now i'm going to i have suggested free wood but i'm going to go for a driver we are on the same andrews why why not to go for a uh, for a driver this is just a simulation we are on the 16th hole we are probably not going to win the Clara Jack today but 
that's not what not to try it out so let me give you a few seconds for extracting all the necessary all the or the all unnecessary which is crowds grass my previous sessions my my uh, my hunger because i feel hungry after uh, 16 holes on st andrews the two hours three hours uh, past probably And I believe this is going to be a pretty good shot. Very close to the wall. That is very, very close to the wall. And I will play it, play it a bit shorter. That computer suggested. This is a bar. Some say that this is probably the one of the most difficult shots or me difficult holes, not shots, difficult holes uh, in the world. You have the crowds, you have the uh, private property of hotel nearby final hall of St. Andrews and you 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 probably will have a lot of pressure in your head rising at this moment but your mind is clear you practice before round you know how to practice uh, during round you are you are content with your actual results which is not very bad it's close to the par it's not plus 20 uh, it's not a minus 7 minus 12 but it's not bad and let yourself prepare for this shot calm yourself down make a rehearsal swing uh, clear your mind from uh, all the other external stirs which are actually your inner stirs your inner thoughts and hope for the best we are aiming for the par your mind is clear our our goal is to play par you are probably wondering why i'm watching uh, down there but i'm watching just my, my hand to move the mouse because i'm playing with the mouse on the computer is if i would concentrate myself on the ball and the golf club on my grip on my stance on my swing on my motion on my rhythm this is what we are going to be taught by your uh, teaching of professional but I'm playing on the computer so that's why In real life this will be a really difficult shot because playing out of this tall grass expect to play a double bogey triple bogey on this on this hole but hopefully the the algorithm in the game will allow me to shoot from this position on the green and as close as as close as possible to the hole As I said previously, this can happen if there will be some con such conditions uh, as are at, uh, at the today's or this weekend's, this year's, uh, the Open at uh, St. Andrews, where we have really, uh, really uh, dry conditions and the greens, the grasses, the fairways are uh, uh, almost unfair so as they are uh, uh, not wet as usually uh, along the year so uh, this simulation might depict 
the most accurate uh, scenario uh, that is to be played at this weekend. So my ball roll down from the hill, from the green down the hill, and I need to. Uh, it's a, it's a pitch pitch shot. Oh, that was unnecessary. Double bogey. Well, even that happens. Even that happens uh, on the 17th hole on at the St. Andrews. We have driver. We have 13 mile wind that is gusting from uh, our back towards the hole and hopefully we will go for the green with this shot. Let calm myself down, calm yourself down. This is a one of those final three, possibly four shots on this golf course today. So let yourself be calm. That is your last drive if you are not going to play uh, outside of bounds. But uh, as you see, you already played in your mind alongside me uh, pretty straight shots except those one or two shots that i played uh, directly into the rough it was hooked or or pulled and this will probably be a very good shot and the wind speed uh, even increased to the 15 miles per hour so i'm going to use it calm myself down my mind is clear i'm going to play a par on this hole wonderful drive to the green on the 18th hole of St. Andrews if you are lucky enough to play it uh, in your real, real life congratulations so we have really not bad situation at all enjoy it just the last part possibly Last two putts. Last three putts. That's about it. Playing at the St. Andrews, I will. I even unlocked a new item, and <laughs> it was rewarded by two hundred fifty. Uh, points of uh, currency that is in this game i played 80 i shot over 50 percent uh fairways in regulations i wasn't as good as possible in uh, green in regulations i had two putt per holes my handicap decreased and uh, and the round is behind us just simple uh, ex uh, example of how you can prepare yourself, how you can think in various situations. I am planning to do a lot of uh, similar videos. So thank you very much that you joined this session. I will uh, just one sec. I want from you uh, to hold just one second, please. and remind you on the most powerful helper in your mental game called pocket golf psychology it is a pocket guide as i told you about mental game of golf make sure to check it out on amazon in your, in your bookstore make sure to check it out uh, in other online golf shops and if you are not lucky or if you are not uh, patient enough go directly to mariopiki.com uh, and order it from there click on the shop and if you will be in the shop make sure to also check the professional yardage book 
it looks like this it is a pretty blank paper from outside the cover is blank check the images and thank you for watching if you are watching this on a youtube channel of top sport psychology uh, then click, subs click subscribe and click on the like button if you are watching this on via facebook uh, click follow uh, and like top sport psychology on facebook otherwise we will see us uh, on either on twitch either on uh, here on facebook or on youtube or in other posts uh, that I will post about mental game of golf. Uh, we will see us probably in another live video. Uh, make sure to share this video with your friends. Uh, uh, for I am thankful very much, and share it with your friends, with your uh, golf buddies, to as many people as possible. Invite your friends. Invite your junior friends, your your kids, your grandkids. Invite your nephews, whoever you think would profit from a mental game of golf get them my pocket guide and study it it's very simple it's very usable and enjoy this wonderful day for a uh, game of golf uh, is the open championship 2022 uh, we, let's see who will win and one more thing write me in the comments down below this video who do you think are going to take this the the Claret Jack the 150th Claret Jack the trof 150th trophy for the US Open uh, UK Open Championship at the San Andreas this year uh, so again thank you very much we will see you soon my name is Mario Becchi and have a wonderful golfing day ciao